It's an ongoing situation. Dogs overseas being used for meat kept in cruel and inhumane conditions. One local organization is doing their best to put a stop to this, all while bringing those dogs to loving families here in Las Vegas. Tonight's arrival of this precious cargo in a story you'll only see on Fox 5. At Harry Reid Airport, international arrivals, Terminal 3, some important friends are on their way. Walking through to freedom. Do you want to come out? Hi. You made it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Let's go this way. This chocolate Labrador named Timber can't hardly contain the excitement. After a good shake and a stretch of the legs, this little girl is happy even after traveling for 16 hours. This is your daddy. That's your dad. You, you did it. Meeting his new dad, Lee Jackson. Oh, I couldn't sleep last night. I knew, like, okay, whatever I do, you know, 5 o'clock, the, the dog lands, I'll be there. Uh, and I, I couldn't be happier, honestly. Timber is one of many dogs that Retriever Rescue of Las Vegas save on a weekly basis, either from puppy mills or meat farms in South Korea. The team effort, the organization relies on rescue overseas to spot and save these dogs. Two corgis, Fonzie and Joni, are here as well, getting a drink of water first. Their little legs are on American soil for the first time. Monique Labar is here. She'll be opening up her home as a foster parent. Well, I feel so lucky to be a part of it and just so grateful that we're able to help. Um, it's wonderful to be able to open up their little cages and see them take their first freedom steps once they get here. The organization that's behind this started in 2019. The nonprofit is 100% volunteer based, and so far, they've saved 827 dogs. That effort won't stop anytime soon. And if you'd like more information, Retriever Rescue of Las Vegas has a Facebook and Instagram page.